welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to discuss what is the shadow dom and how we handle the shadow dom element in the selenium web driver by using the java so let's first understand what is the shadow dom so shadow dom is used for encapsulation okay what encapsulation this ensures that all the javascript and CSS written against this new DOM can be fully encapsulated. When we add new HTML ID class, it does not say whether it clashes with the current name used on the website, right? So shadow DOM is one section area by using shadow DOM, we can separate the HTML DOM with the main DOM object. The shadow DOM allows the author of a component to build its own DOM, which is separate from the regular DOM, right? In this way, developers, authors, they are encapsulating the JavaScript as well as the CSS selectors, CSS. In this way, developers, author, they are encapsulating separating their css selectors as well as the javascript by creating a shadow dom because shadow dom separate your dom from the main dom this is kind of own dom structure the structure of the dom is normally hidden from us so structure we cannot see but we can see it in the developer tools when we inspect the element there we can see how the DOM structure looks like. So let's see. You can see here in the source code, shadow root is mentioned here. Second shadow root, right? One shadow root within another shadow root. So if this shadow root separate this section from the main DOM, so any CSS selectors what is applied here, it will not override our classes from the main DOM CSS selectors. If this CSS ID and class like wrapper, shadow content applied in the main DOM anywhere, it will not clash with this because this is a own DOM structure here. Okay, so this is the basic understanding of the shadow DOM. Now let's move and I will show how we handle this in the Selenium web driver because Selenium looks the element find the element only the element which is available in the main DOM structure right but if this is separate DOM structures selenium directly not find the locators from this element yeah so here let me show you how we handle the shadow root element by using the selenium web driver here is the application where we can see shadow root element from front end from ui we cannot understand this element is coming under the shadow root or not but if i inspect this and go to the developer tool you will see here this element is coming under the shadow root this is one shadow root this is another shadow root so here we have multiple shadow root so let's try first understand how we get the text from the shadow root right so if i want to generally if i want to get the locators of this element so we can create like get the id right of this element or directly we can use the id of this element let me create css selector okay css selector is created here for the element shadow content but here you can see i'm not getting the zero of zero even my locator is correct let's try this in selenium web driver to try to find out the element so we will call driver dot find element by dot css selector then if you want to get the text need to get text method this method return the, web uh, return the text 
in a string format so i can store here let me print this text okay now test is created and added the code here now this get method will navigate the url of the shadow root element okay here i have added the implicit weight after that calling the driver dot find element to get the locators find out the locators after that get the text method to read the text of the locator so running the test now yeah page is opened here now you can see now it's baiting the locator yeah now you can see here i am getting no such element unable to find the locator here so selenium is not able to find the locator same when we inspect the element and use here in the developer tools we are not able to also find why we are not able to find here because as we discuss shadow root this is a separate dom this is separate from the main dom structure that's why here we need to handle it different way first of all we need to give, go into the shadow root like we are handling the frame as well as the window so this is the frame uh, shadow root element id which is above the shadow root so by using this id this element locators div locators we can get the shadow root object so let's create one css selector yeah here just created locators of the element div element which is just above the shadow root right so by using this element locator we can find the shadow root because the shadow root coming directly under this div. copy the locator go to your code you call the driver dot find element by dot css selector pass the selector here this method a return wave element object so I store in a wave element okay now next step using this element we need to get shadow root which is available directly under this element so get shadow root return the shadow root of it this method return search context object okay so so that's why i stored in such context object now we are in this shadow root here in this shadow root now by using the shadow root object search context object we can find the locator of the element which are available under this shadow root so now we can use this context to find the locators shadow content right context dot find element by that css selector get text this return the text right so now let me run and you will see yes let's see here and now I am able to get the element. So if we try to find the locator directly of the shadow root element, we will not able to get. What we need to do? We need to first find out the shadow root object, right? Then by using the shadow root object, we can find the locator which are available under the shadow root. Okay, let's try if we use the X path of the element instead of css selector what will happen so this is the span at the rate like this okay slash span at the rate id this is the x path copy this go to your code test update here now I am using here xpath of the shadow root element instead of CSS selector. So let me run now. Yeah. 
you can see we are getting invalid locators okay so if we want to try to find the locators find the element of a set of root elements in that case if we are using x path it will not work we need to use the css selector only the css selector will fires the element which are available under the set of root okay so now let's revert so let's now see how we will find out the element which are available under the and the shadow root means nested shadow root so this shadow root is coming under the outer shadow root so we have two shadow root one is here and second is here so this is the nested shadow root so if we have nested shadow root how we find out the element so first of all by using the shadow root object what we retrieve here context by using this we can find out the element we can find out the element of a shadow root inner shadow root so this is the nested shadow root we can use this id to find out the element of a nested shadow root okay copy this go to here okay so again this will return the wave element object inner shadow root okay then we can call here dot element of the inner shadow root dot get shadow root so this method return again search context of the inner shadow root okay you will get the inner shadow root object now by using this is the nested uh, element okay div let's use this and then we have another div so this is css selector of inner shadow root element so copy this here now call this inner context inner dot find element by dot css selector of this get text this will return the inner text yes and then and then so what i am doing here first of all capture the here the outer shadow root by using the outer shadow root object search context object i am calling the inner shadow root element this is it will give us the inner shadow root wave element object now using the wave element object we can again call the get shadow root this return the search context object for the inner shadow root by using this object now we can find out the locators which is available under the inner search inner shadow root okay so let's run the code and you will see yeah you can see both some text nested text both text i am able to retrieve here okay so by using this approach get shadow root method we can find out the locators and we can handle the shadow root elements okay so let's see if we directly call the inner shadow root by using the driver object not using the outer shadow root object 
what will happen it will work or not the outer shadow root element you can see i'm getting the text but for the inner it's still waiting now it's failed to give there a no such element exception so this is if you have already know the concept of the iframe so this is similar to the iframe we need to switch iframe if we have nested iframe then we need to switch frame by frame first in first frame then in second frame okay hope this video this tutorial helps you how we handle the shadow root element by using selenium web driver and also if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel click on the bell icon so that you can get the latest video video also share this tutorial to your friend colleague right 